You never had to worry about Jerry Rice showing up to camp out of shape. Now 60 years old, Rice finished 42nd this week in Lake Tahoe. He knew it would take a strong finish to best fellow wideout Larry Fitzgerald. When do the competitive juices hit? Uh, I think it started with Larry Fitzgerald last night uh -oh. at the meeting, and he called me out. So we're going to battle. So, you know, Larry, I took some money. I think I took $100 from him, so he's still <laughs> upset about that. Larry, you need to calm down, man. I'll give you your $100 back, you know what I'm saying? For some of these football players, as soon as this tournament is over, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's training camp time. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you know, but these guys already have put the work in. Yeah. You know, and, and I was always one of those guys, too, that, that was in tip-top shape during the off season and you know this is their last little hurrah mm -hmm. and, and after this it's all about football here's a 49er related mm -hmm. question if Trey Lance was right here mm -hmm. what would you advise him being in that position now where no matter what as soon as Brock Purdy is healthy well come on in you know what the thing is uh, he has to just realize that hey look I have to be ready mm -hmm. That's my main focus. If anything happens to Brock or if Brock is, is not going to be ready for regular season, I have to be ready right. to go. You know, he done had so much bad luck. And, you know, you almost started to see flashes, then something would happen. Right. So, you know, he's just got to have that mindset just to say, hey, look, uh, I'm going to be ready to go if my number is called. Then, you know, I feel like we have a legitimate backup with uh, a third quarterback with uh, Sam Donald. The Niners got to go into training camp with the mindset that we're going to win the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Just th you know, throw it out there. We got all the, the pieces of the puzzle. We have it on offense. We got it on yep. defense. Okay, we're going to go get it. Go and out and it. win it right now. Win it right now. So <laughs> no more uh, of those uh, just get into the, the championship game. It's time to win the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers said before the tournament his goal was to beat Steph Curry. Well, he came up short there. But the four-time NFL MVP did finish fifth overall. Rogers' employer is in the Big Apple now, but he'll always keep coming home to Northern California. You got the fans, you know, incredible fan base. It's like three hours from my hometown. Berkeley's close by, mm -hmm. I'm a Bay Area guy. Uh, there's still some 12 jerseys out here. I'm seeing a couple eight jerseys as well. So yeah. that's, that's pretty exciting. Speaking of eight, uh, the Jets? Last time you and I talked, it, it was all up in the air. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was a lot of decisions that, uh, uh -huh. that had to be made, but I'm excited where I'm at. Thankful for my time in Green Bay. It's always going to be a special place for me, but excited about my new challenge for the New York Jets. Um, love my team, love my teammates. The fan base is hungry. I haven't been in the playoffs in, uh, in a while. I haven't mm -hmm. won the Super Bowl since the 60s, so <laughs> uh, a lot of good things to play for. You see that camera? You're going to see a lot of them now. Hard Knocks is coming. Your thoughts? <laughs> Listen, the, one of the only things I like about Hard Knocks is the voice of God who narrates it. Right. Live. I hope I get to meet him. Bruce Matthews is no ordinary dad. He's a Hall of Fame tackle. Now, I understand the, the appeal with us. Obviously, there's a lot of eyes on me, a lot of eyes on our team, a lot of expectations for our squad. So uh, they force it down our throats, and we got to deal with it.